Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll show you how to add the folder page to your app. The folder page allows you to create a collection of app features in one place, making it easier for users to access them on the go. Let's see how it's done. Go to our no-code app building platform. If you have already created an app, log into your account and go to manage and edit to add folder page to your app. If you have not yet created an app, click on get started to build your app. Here we'll show you how you can add the folder page to your app. First enter your business name here and click on next. Then enter the purpose of your app and click on next. Based on the app purpose you mentioned, the system will add certain pages to your app. Now click on save and continue to finish creating your app. Once you have selected the desired pricing plan and installed the app, all our features will be unlocked. Click on start editing to add the folder page to your app. If you see that the folder page is already added to your app, click on it. Otherwise, click on view all, search for folder, and click on the page to add it to your app. The existing app users can add folder page in the exact same way. Now let's take a look at everything you can do with the newly added folder page. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it to fit your needs. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid color or an outline for your icon or even an image from our library or your own custom image for your icon. You can even upload two different images for your mobile app and website. Now let's add some existing pages to the folder. Drag and drop the page in the box to add it to the folder as you can see. Here I am editing the inquire page to the folder. Once done, you will see the added page in the folder pages. In a similar way, you can add the rest of your desired pages to the folder. Here I am adding another page, one touch, to the folder. You can even add features by clicking on the plus icon and adding the features from below, like I have added the coupon and loyalty card features. Click on this icon if you want to move any page from to the home area. A pop-up window asking your confirmation will appear. Click on move to send the page to, the, to home. Once done, you will see the pages have been added to your app pages in the home section. From here, you can delete the page. Let's move on to the page style and color scheme now. From here, you can manage the app pages background. If you want, you can choose a background image from our library or go with a solid color for the background page. You can even upload your own custom image from here. If you want, you can use the same image for both portrait and landscape modes or upload a different for each. You can also change the page layout from here. Next comes the advanced settings. Based on your selected page layout, you can hide the border, background, text, and much more. Next comes the navigation style and color scheme. From here you can change the text font and size, the background, the border, and the text color. Once you are done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.